This is the Minimum RCA6M0. Q series. Q standing for cute? Don't know. Anyway, it all looks pretty straightforward. So we need this one. So what I plan to do is to just narrate over this video. I'm going to speed it up and slow it down when necessary to point out any um, finer details, you know, only in a couple of places. Um, so if you want more detail on how to build this model, check out my PZL106 crop duster video, which does a blow by blow account. It's exactly the same construction as this one. So starting here, we're starting with the chassis and fit in the motor. Um, I use exclusively CA glue for the plywood parts, plywood to plywood. Get out all the little servos, connect up your receiver, get everything or the horns on and make sure everything works and note which way the orientation goes and referring to the build instructions uh, which are on the uh, website very carefully put the servos in really carefully examining because once it's in there's no going back because they're all built in so be absolutely certain you've got it all right when you glue the side on the servo horn should poke out the little slots in the side of the fuselage offer it up before you put the glue on to make sure they do here's the fuselage top and bottom foam pieces starting with the top one uh, you can crease the foam around the edge of a desk or a pencil just to get it to curve a little bit. If you apply the foam to foam glue, the UFO glue they supply, uh, push the side on, take it off, let it dry for a few seconds and when you put it back on it's like contact glue. Here I've got little bits of masking tape to hold it in place. That's the battery hatch. You don't glue all of the battery hatch, notice. And then when you're happy, offer up the other side when it fits nicely, run the glue around and push it together. You can use little bits of masking tape to hold it in place if necessary. The sticky decals go on next. If you don't press them too hard, you can reposition them by peeling off and sticking them on again. Now, when you come to do the wing and control surfaces, you have to score through using one of the pieces of carbon rod they give you. Very gently go through the score line several times and you'll find that you can hinge the control surface also on the hinge line of the wing just to give it that wing section. Offer it in when you're happy. This is what I did. I just put two little score lines top and bottom of the wing because I like to put pin pricks where the foam to printed surface joins so as it joins uh, glues really well. Here I'm just putting little pin pricks all the way up where between the two marks that I made and likewise on the little lugs as well go into the fuselage score the elevator and rudder exactly the same the control horns I've um, just um, painted black using a felt tip pen and glued them in but you notice the aileron horns were angled at the wrong angle with the slots I'm just showing you there with that what the angle should be so I what I did I pulled them out although they were glued in they weren't too hard so I pulled them out and cut new slots in the ailerons out you come so I cut a new slot at a different angle just to allow the push rods to line up better with the servo. You see the original and you see mine. So before you glue them in you might want to cut new slots. Bit of UFO glue, foam glue. I'm going to put a glue in the aileron hole just to fill it up a bit. Original hole. Uh, here I am pin pricking the tail plane having marked it exactly the same way as I did with the wing and 
here I am working on the wing again, running some UFO glue down along uh, over the tabs and then push it in place. You can squeeze the tabs down slightly between your thumb and forefinger just to get them to go easily. They'll expand out again. I also ran a little bit of glue there on the plywood part as well. Bit of masking tape to hold it and then work on the other side, do exactly the same thing. At this stage I actually did let it dry for a little while before I continued working on it. Uh, making up the wheel assemblies, there's some little white stickers to go on the wheel hubs to make them nice, bend over the end of the wire. There's a little brass insert as well to go inside the wheel. If you don't put that in you can't do what I'm doing there and that's crushing it down a little bit. Make sure it runs freely and when you've got them done, those little um, white squares is what holds the wheel to the bottom of the wing. Uh, I didn't use the UFO glue, I mixed up epoxy because the, the UFO glue isn't going to hold it that well. Make up the push rods. Put a little pin through the plywood horn before you attempt while, while you've still got them on the ground. It just the holes are so small. Uh, I had to just file the end of burr off of the end of the wire on the push rods because they'd just been snipped off. Push them through the horn at the back and then rock them forward and clip them onto the each servo each side. I had to open up the hole for the slightly for the aileron push rods because they're binding ever so slightly. Then get the soldering iron. I've got a little 12 volt one here just to heat shrink the heat shrink down. When you're happy, when you're fully adjusted control services precisely then run a put a little drop of CA each end of the each shrink just to hold it make sure and uh, go to your transmitter set all the controls it's about five or six mil each way and it's done it's finished ready to go so all I've got to do is maiden flight it now There we go. Just set it up nicely. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the maiden flight, hit the subscribe button and then take a nice photograph of the finished plane in front of a nice backdrop, like this nice Pacific Ocean type backdrop. And uh, the video's finished. Cheers, guys. See you at the maiden.